K2 times the S. So K2 times all this mess. K1 times S times E naught. That's all the numerator. Denominators, still the same, K1 prime plus K2 plus K1 S. Uh, so now uh, the biologists like to take one more step. You wouldn't have had to do this on an exam, but I'll just show you what is commonly done. They multiply top and bottom by uh, 1 over K1. Multiply top and bottom by 1 over K1 just to, in their mind, simplify. And if you're a biologist, I guess this for you might resonate. I don't know. So uh, that equals rate 2 now. You'll get rid of the K1 on top. S E0. Where E0 is the total amount of enzyme from the material balance. On the bottom, you'll have K1 prime plus K2 over K1 plus S. And then they like to call this thing KM, capital KM. So again, those substitutions, multiplications, you would have known. Let's just write the final answer. R2 then is K2, S, E0. And you'll, be, you'll see this uh, if you look at the book done also. Oh, R2, RP, I guess I should call it, RP. Rate of production of products, which is rate 2, is that. Finally, we like this uh, because it's got a total amount of enzyme. We can find that. It's got the amount of substrate. We can find that. Okay? It doesn't have like ES, the intermediate. It doesn't have just free enzyme. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, I don't know. Ask your biology teacher, but I will tell you something. What if we have low substrate concentrations? What does that mean? Well, that means we have very little S. In fact, it'd be a lot smaller than Km. Well, if that happens in my RP, uh, then I'd just be left with K2 over Km uh, S times E naught. What order is this reaction right there? Constant, 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 it's first order. This is the only thing that's changing, is the concentration of the substrate. This is first order. So if there's not very much uh, substrate, this, uh, the enzyme starts working in a first order reaction. In a contrasting example, if we have high substrate, concentration, then S would be really big. <coughs> a lot bigger than Km. So RP uh, would turn into uh, K2 times E0, just simplifying. What's the order of this reaction? <coughs> this would be zero, or zero order. So when there's too much substrate, the enzyme starts working in zero order. If I plot that, it will look like this. At low substrate concentrations, we're working at first order. And then once the substrate concentration reaches some height, we go to zero order, which is a constant. This is like y equals x. This is y equals a constant. So uh, whenever we have a lot of substrate, the enzyme works at its maximum rate possible because it wants to convert that substrate into energy or products. Whenever there's a low amount of substrate, the enzyme slows down because it doesn't want to produce so much. So it goes in our first order reaction. So you can see it, it'll, the rate will cap out. It works
looking at its maximum possible rate when there's a high enough substrate.